So welcome to Quick AF, a series in which we talk about something quick as, you know what, today I wanted to talk about The Outsider, HBO's The Outsider, episodes one through seven. So if you're not familiar with The Outsider, which is on HBO, based on a Stephen King book, um, which I think came out relatively recently, at least within the last couple of years, it's about crime that was committed in a small town where a young child was murdered. We follow Ben Mendelsohn's character, a detective who tries to track down who was the true committer of the crime, and all signs point to one little league coach. But from there, things start to become weary and not as what they seem. So let me just say, before I, I get into this, this is only gonna be a discussion between episodes one and seven. Why I wanted to talk about it now is because I have issues with the show and it's not gonna be a full blown review, but I wanted to give my impressions and wonder if anybody else is feeling the same way. Let me just say the first two episodes of this series start off incredibly strong. You have Jason Bateman who plays the little league coach and the one who is accused of murdering the young child. And I haven't seen Ozark um, and certain shows like that he's done recently, but I particularly like him because he kind of plays against character and what I'm used to, I'm used to seeing him in comedies and things like that. But he plays this really interesting dual role in in this um which was an extremely engaging and of course ben mendelson he's great in everything and the dynamic of how the show starts off with him investigating and and ben mendelson's character being sure that he did it and what happens after that i thought that was extremely engaging and not to mention the mood and the atmosphere the cinematography how it shot all of that it just fits extremely well i love me a good moody mystery there was everything after episode two which i wasn't sure about week after week i've been watching i'd say maybe around episode three is where i started to fall off they start introducing this new private eye cynthia arriva i don't know her character's name i just i just can't get with it it's something which i feel like they go so they stray so far from ben mendelson's character and i find him most interesting because he kind of has this innate connection within the story and i'm like all right this is awesome i like how him and jason bateman's character kind of play off each other and they kind of have like this vague intertwined history and you of course have like ben mendelson's tragic backstory but as the show goes on it seems like they're stretching this mystery, at least in my opinion, very thin. And what they feel I think is supposed to be like a big revelation, it doesn't feel that important to me. It's not that I don't find this new character that Cynthia Revo plays like not interesting. She's interesting and also not interesting. She doesn't have like a huge backstory. I, I'm not especially engaged with her because she's kind of like this outsider who comes into play i don't know it was just, it's just something i'm not vibing with it feels like they're dragging out these last after episode two for like too long they're trickling in some stuff which i think is kind of interesting but not and they're going into some like mythological and kind of supernatural stuff which i'm fine with but I, I just don't know and then it's also the infected cop that he kind of gets scratched and stuff like that it's just kind of weird but not in a good way i love me good weird mystery and engaging cop thrillers again it, it's kind of like do i want to watch these last three episodes because i'm not sure it's just kind of losing me i don't know if anybody else is feeling that way but that's how i'm feeling it's a well-made show like i said it, production quality is great the actors are great but the the mystery the core mystery isn't really that engaging i'm not looking forward to what's going to happen next exactly um the episodes are too long and it's long in the way that interesting things aren't happening in my opinion you may feel differently if i get thrashed in the comments you know so be it Probably most people don't feel the way I do. But yeah, I just wanted to give my quick thoughts on that. I think it had a great start. You know, Jason Bateman also, I think, directed the first two episodes. And those were really great. I'm looking forward to see where it goes. Maybe I'll return and do another video reviewing the rest of it, the last three episodes. You can let me know. Or maybe at this point, you don't care about my opinion. And that's fine. But yeah, that's how I felt. And let me know in the comments what you think about the series as of now, at least episodes one through seven. Uh, there may be another episode by the time this is posted. And of course, if you like my video, you can subscribe below. We do a bunch of reviews and videos on movies, television, music, reactions, all sorts of stuff. So thank you for watching.